Ngayon na araw po sa inyo lahat. Ayan. Dito na naman po ako. So, um, what I am going to share to you is all about um, the tips in ranking. Ranking tips? And the list of requirements. Okay, what to do on the all-round ranking process. So first, um, mag-online po muna kung um, ina-allow ng DepEd, ng, ng Division Office na applyan nyo na mag-online muna kayo. Well, be it. Sa, sa Department of Education's online system, that would be application that, no, that, that, application that deped.gov.com So, here are the requirements in um, ranking. So, kailangan nyo po ng CSE Form 212 and uh, maybe 2 to 3 copies um, with the latest 2x2 picture or 2x2 ID picture. Parang passport size. Parang ganun. At um, tapos um, certified photocopy of PRC uh, license and PRC rating or let rating so uh, nakukuha po yun sa PRC mismo na ipapapoto, ipapapotocopy mo yung PRC ID at uh, let rating at um, sila ba dadalhin mo yun doon at um, yun tapos um certified copy or true copy ng yung transcript of record so ganun din ibabalik mo din sa school mo ipapapotocopy mo muna tapos uh, ibabalik mo sa school mo at um, certified true copy and um, copies of uh, your uh, service record or um, employment record yon Yeah, or certificate of employment tapos certificate of specialized training yung mga seminars mga training workshop at pwede din yung sa TESDA mga NC2, NC3 certificates mo at um, kailangan din ng um, certified true copy of uh, voters ID as a proof of residency kasi nga uso ngayon yung localization at um, NBI clearance and omnibus certification of authenticity and veracity of all documents submitted. So, saan to nakukuha ang, ang omnibus na to? Um, sa DO. Sa DO din siya nakukuha. Pagka pumunta kayo doon, kasi kukuha kayo ng list of requirements. Pero kahit hindi na. <laughs> Ayan. So, ano? yon yung omnibus na kukuha yun dun sa DO at um, ipapanotary mo yun at um, I think may babayaran mga 100 to 150 something like that yun ang nagpapatunay na totoo lahat authenticated or authentic lahat ng mga mga papeles mo mga certificate ng application letter or um, letter of intent something like that and Uh, after which um, intay ka na lang ng tawag kung kailan ang EPT ang, ang demonstration teaching at kailan ang um, uh, interview so sunod sunod na yon. siguro magpapataki yung application by January kompletohin mo na yan may time ka pa at um, February mag, um, magdi deadline alam ko mga second week second week ng February yan at ang um, mga March simula na yan ng demo interview at um, last is uh, the EPT so the result may come out maybe it may bago magpasukan so good luck po sa mga mag apply so let is not just you know um, alam natin na pagkakasa pagka pumasa na to, tayo ng let ano eh Uh, there is it no, it's just the beginning of your challenge ranking is uh, ayoko mag draw ng easy 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 picture about ranking because ranking is somehow difficult and um, frustrating yeah, so be ready you must be emotionally ready kundi 
um, maapektuhan ka. So, what virtue that um, I think the Lord is testing us is our patience. So, you really have to learn to wait about, you know, kailan ka tatawagan. Yung iba, minsan nakaka-pressure dahil, dahil, um, dahil, yung iba, tinawagan na tas ikaw hindi. Yung kapit-bahay mo, tinawagan na tas ikaw hindi. So, you, patience is virtue. So, yun lang. At, um, good luck po sa mga mag apply At, um, God bless. So, wag susuko. At, uh, hintay-hintay lang ng tawag. Ayun, at isa pa nga pala, um, kailangan maka-70 ka. So, kung wala ka pang teaching experience, pero kung sa, you are well confident na na mapapasa mo without any teaching experience, that's actually 15% of um, of uh, the 100%. So, yun. At ang criteria sa pagpili ng mananalo no, hindi, ng, uh, ng sa ranking ito yan so education 20% yun sa transcript of record mo kailangan mataas yung yung um, mataas yung um, average mo or jiwa mo sa buong apat na taon so para maka 20 ka at least that one wow sumakaw na ako congratulations <laughs> at um, teaching experience So, at least, um, alam ko per year ay 5 points, something like that. Or depende sa, sa, sa selection committee, sa ranking committee kung paano nila gagawin yan yung per year na, or per month. Dati kasi ang alam ko nung akin, per month is, is um, 0.5, something like that. So, kung naka 10 months ka, per month yung binibilang nila, malaking tulong ang bawat buwan at um, let or pivot rating 15% yung teaching experience 15 din tapos yung let and uh, pivot rating is 15 din so yun magbabary yun sa score mo sa let at specialized training and skills so mga seminar um, may, may ano may points din yan kung 5 days mas maganda so mga training and workshop, NC2, NC3, pwede din. That's um, 10%. And other, I am, um, so dapat ano, marami kang certificate. And interview. So, interview, galingan mo lang sa interview. Uh, depends upon on you on how are you going to win. Uh, and how are you going to sell yourself. And demo teaching so 15% at um, communication skills yung EPT English proficiency skills is 15% so in the total of 100% and ang passing rate ay dapat maka um, 70% ka so other are questioning how about if if this applicant has no any um, teaching experience. So, pwede naman magparang at um, nung time ko, madaming nagparang kahit walang teaching experience nakapasok eh. So, magka- ilan lang yun? 15%? Meron ka pang meron ka pang 85? No, meron ka pang 85. At least maka, maka 70 ka. That's, that's good already. Yun, at uh, so good luck po. At uh, Pinabati ko nga pala si Ivan Panaligan for passing this let um, September let no, Congrats bro, magparang ka na rin So, good luck po to all teachers So, if you watch this video, please hit like and subscribe Thank you for watching, bye bye